Hello and welcome to Dragon Ball What If. This time we're going to be discussing what if Vegeta defeated Goku. Now in order to do this, let's look at three uh, scenarios. One is uh, when Vegeta first arrived on Earth. Second was when Goku fought Majin Vegeta. And third is after uh, the Buu Saga. Now first let's talk about the first battle between Goku and Vegeta. Now, we've seen that Vegeta became came very close to beating Goku, and I mean like really beating him. I don't mean like like beating him, uh, but then his friends joined in and he lost, you know. I mean, suppose Vegeta like defeated all of his friends and Goku, what would have happened? Well, first thing that comes to mind is that Vegeta probably would have exterminated probably every other human on the planet and would have tried to sell Earth kind of like what he said that he was going to do in the first place to the you know World Trade Organization now he of course would have uh, left uh, for the planet that he would have except uh, he would still need to heal of course but I think he would still go to Namek now of course he wouldn't have gotten as big as the Zenkai because he didn't get beaten as uh, badly in this scenario so because of that he might be bit weaker when he goes to Namek. Now, on Namek, I think he would be able to beat Kui and probably Dodoria and uh, Zarbon, assuming that, a lot, that much of what happened you know, was consistent. But I don't really see him beating the Ginyu Force, except for Guldo. Uh, I, I think that in this scenario, by the time the Ginyu Force is called, because Frieza would have considered Vegeta uh, you know, still a big threat, and this time probably would have just wanted him dead. So in that case, the Ginyu Force, or at least Raccoon and the others, probably would have killed Vegeta, which would have ended the story right there. So I guess in this case, it's actually a good thing that Vegeta didn't beat Goku, uh, like, flat out during the first fight. Now let's talk about Goku and Vegeta the second time they fought, like when Vegeta was Majin. Now, if they fought the second time, I, unlike the first time, uh, Vegeta wouldn't have that... Well, I should say the first time he wouldn't have had that same psychological, let's say, issues with Goku beating him because that was the first fight and if he won, he would probably just, like... Like, he would probably be somewhat embarrassed, but that wouldn't dominate his whole life, you know? But this time it would, because he still lost the first fight. So if he won against Goku, and I mean actually beat him, I don't mean knocked him out, I do think that he wouldn't be as evil still, because he would have had more, let's say, roots on Earth, you know, with Bulma and Trunks, and he still would have fought to protect them, I think. So even if he killed Goku, that would have satisfied much of his life ambition, but that wouldn't necessarily like make him as evil as before. So in that case, uh, Goku, no sorry, uh, Vegeta would uh, still try to fight Majin Buu and would still try to uh, at least protect, uh, you know, Trunks and Bulma. And uh, the only difference here is that uh, Vegeta would have more to fight for and like he would have the satisfaction of knowing that he beat Goku in a flat out e even fight. So that would give him more confidence against Buu. But I still don't see him winning against Buu. In fact, I think that he would still either blow himself up or get killed. Now this has ramifications for the rest of the Earth. First of all, if Goku's not around, like if he's killed, then... Uh, he couldn't teach Goten and Trunks the fusion dance, which might mean that the Earth would be destroyed even sooner. But let's assume that weren't the case. Uh, despite what Vegeta did to Goku, you would still have uh, uh, Gohan training in the afterlife. Although you could probably make an argument that Goku did somewhat help by uh, being there to you know, throw that big block thing that Gohan used uh, a sword to break, or tried to break, but sword broke and out came uh, Elder Kai. 
but I don't think there's much proof for that, so let's assume that Elder Kai still emerged somehow and and uh, the same thing happened. Like, he brings out Gohan's hidden powers. Well, obviously in this scenario, he would still beat Boo. Uh, although Boo destroys the planet sooner, that would probably not... Like, let's say this was before Hercules tried to befriend Boo. Uh, this probably means that he would be... Like, if Super Boo was too weak for Mystic Gohan, then I'm pretty sure Fat Boo would be even weaker. So, the story would probably still end right there. So let's let's look at the third time, like the third scenario. Suppose after the Boo Saga, uh, possibly even after Oob, Vegeta and Goku fought again, and Vegeta actually beat Goku. Now, in the third time, I don't think he would kill Goku. At this point, he's been, let's say, uh, he's been, I want to say conditioned, but, well, he's been, how about, somewhat mellowed out or whatnot as compared to him before like at that point I don't think he wants to kill Goku he just wants to defeat him in general so if he did defeat Goku I doubt he would kill him and he would probably hold that over Goku's head for uh, years to come uh, Goku would probably just say you know you beat me fair and square you know uh, but one thing this might do to Vegeta is this might like this might leave an empty void because think about it, for the last few years, if not a decade or so, Vegeta's life ambition was to prove he was better than Goku. That's pretty much the main reason for his existence after that. That's what drove him all these years, more than anything else. So, with that being such a strong and central goal, once you fulfill that, I mean, that leaves a void, you know? I could definitely see uh, Vegeta having a sense of, I guess, emptiness or whatnot if he did defeat Goku, whether he killed him or not. And this would probably create a whole new set of problems for Vegeta. Like, he, he probably, he probably, I think Vegeta after a while would probably say to himself, I spent all my time trying to uh, prove that I was better than Kakarot, and now that I have, what, what what's left for me, you know? Like, I think it'll be, it'll go something like that. Like, Vegeta would ponder to himself, like, what, what's left? And perhaps after another few years, Vegeta would begin to realize, at that point, the only thing he has to look forward to is protecting the Earth and his family. So, if anything, this might surprise some of you, but I think that Vegeta would actually become perhaps even more mellowed out because he fulfilled his goal, technically. He beat Goku. So, perhaps this would give Vegeta even more of a reason to find a new goal, which would be to protect the Earth, because what else is there, you know? It's either this or nothing at this point. Vegeta pretty much revolved his life around proving he was better than Goku ever since he lost the first time. So it's easy to see that in this circumstance, Vegeta might actually become even more of a loyal Z-Warrior if he beat Goku. So anyway, that's been my video. Uh, see you later. <laughs> like this video? If so, then click on the annotations on screen to go to some of my other videos. I mostly like to do topics on Dragon Ball Z, but I'm open to some other topics as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and also uh, please click the subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment, and, well, enjoy. Show my content.